Should having a niche really be important when starting a YouTube channel? Color me true. Should having a niche really be important when starting a YouTube channel? Hi, my name is Eric Kurani and I've been on this platform since 2012 because I took a break for many years and until November 2018 when a Japanese variety store called Daiso Hyperdome launched and I filmed the event for the YouTube Australia community because I was given that task. It was a challenge and that was my baptism of fire. Whew, it challenged me to face my fear of filming in public and guess what? I think it truly really worked <laughs> because here I am now. I want to believe that I'm already confident speaking in front of the camera and even filming in public. So yeah, going back to our question, should having a niche really be that important when starting a YouTube channel? Hmm. Let me shout out first my calamansi juice. This is from my garden. Well, yes, I personally think in the, it depends on why you are starting a channel in the first place because for me youtube has always been about my love for creating and editing videos and youtube is a space for me where i share my passions whatever they may be at any given time Hmm, I've never felt the need to be boxed into one category because my interests are constantly evolving and I want my channel to reflect that journey. And that being said, I understand why some creators choose to have a niche and a niche helps build a dedicated audience well there's no doubt about it and it can create a sense of clarity and focus both for the creator and for viewers but yeah at the same time when you specialize in one area like uh, tech reviews, for example, makeup tutorials, or gaming, it's easier to attract subscribers who are specifically interested in that topic. And having a niche can also make it simpler to build a brand and figure out what kind of content will resonate with your audience. Hmm. It's a it's a strategy that that works for many people and it certainly certainly has benefits in terms of growth and monetization. Yeah. But for someone for someone like me the idea of being restricted to just one topic, it didn't feel right for me. It didn't feel right. I've always seen YouTube as a platform for my creative freedom. And somewhere I can experiment, explore, and simply create for the sake of creating. And it's not about chasing the next viral trend or fitting myself into a box that doesn't feel natural yeah that's just my opinion so when i first got serious about youtube i will admit that there was a phase where i felt lost and 
I didn't know how to build my channel, which I I really struggled on that one. Which direction to take? I experimented with different types of content, music. I had song covers, like sing out of tune, <laughs> cooking, painting, you name it. But instead, feeling fulfilled, I really felt boxed in. Because for me, the joy of creating was slipping away because of that. And I was trying to fit myself into a specific niche. And I was so unhappy and unfulfilled. And when I got invited to join the YouTube program in 2018, things shifted. Suddenly, I felt the weight of expectations. I thought I needed to be this. I needed to do that. I, I should follow trends and stick to a formula. And it was so exhausting. Content creation became more of a chore than a passion. And while I'm grateful for the income I earned from YouTube, monetization, that's, that's never been my primary focus because for me, YouTube is a platform to share my ideas, spread positivity, and create meaningful content. Whether it's something fun, educational, or inspiring, my goal is to connect with people. And I have posted personal development videos. I still incorporate that while I'm cooking, painting, or vlogging. But I know for some creators, monetization is their driving force. And that's completely valid, guys. Because we all have different life circumstances. But then I've noticed that those who focus solely on, on earning, on monetization on YouTube, they burn out because there is no deeper purpose fueling their journey. For me, if I were to lock myself into one niche, it would strip the joy and spontaneity from the creative process. That's just my opinion. That's what I feel. And that's why I embrace variety. I feel free to explore different topics and connect with people over my shared experiences, whether we're talking about the latest, what, trends in aviation, um, reflecting on life's more meaningful moments, um, new recipes, Well, YouTube has become more than just a creative outlet for me. It's also my online journal. And the beauty of YouTube is that unlike traditional social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube allows you to leave something lasting behind, in my opinion. Because in a way, my channel is a record of my personal growth and the memories I've created along the way. After all, YouTube is the, the first one out there. And it's a place where we can all leave a little piece of ourselves for family and friends and even connections that we've made behind the screens, right? And yeah, it's a form of storytelling that transcends time and that's what i love about this platform so if you are considering starting a youtube channel here is my unsolicited advice ask yourself one honest question why am i here what is my real purpose for being on youtube and once you figure that one out, everything will fall into place. For me, my purpose isn't about chasing fame or 
becoming an expert in one field. It's about sharing my journey and creating content that matters to me and finding like-minded people who appreciate the same spirit of exploration. Guys, it took me years to find my voice and purpose here. And if you've been following my channel since 2012 or 2018 when I started getting more serious about posting, you've likely seen the evolution. And if you are new, welcome! This video is my way of sharing why I'm here, what kind of content I create, and what drives me. So whether you choose to subscribe or just drop by occasionally, I appreciate your support. I really do. I don't believe in the saying, jack of all trades, master of none. That doesn't resonate with me. And because I'm not here to master one thing, I am here to explore, learn, and share. And I thrive on variety. And that's what keeps my creative spirit alive. Yes, it can be tempting, guys, to be focusing on one niche, to grow faster. Believe me, I've been there. But I think true growth comes from creating authentically, not being forced. And when you are passionate about what you make, the audience will, will naturally flow. And this is what I have observed. When I started creating videos that I just feel like creating and sharing, then and and stop thinking about uh, my subscribers, views, likes. So this is what I'm gonna share. I know that some YouTube creators are actually focusing on monetization. And like I said, it's valid. Some people have a deeper reason why they need to get monetized. And then there are some channels, even not just on YouTube platform, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, those who are aiming to get monetized without a deeper reason, then those are the ones that burn out eventually and really fast. Because there's nothing wrong focusing on monetization. For example, you want to get monetized because you want to fund your education or help someone that is needing medical assistance or someone in your life that you want to support as well or simply for yourself too to support your your life there's nothing wrong with that that is the core of your monetization but if the core of your monetization is just all about money the figures nothing else then there is no deeper reason to fuel your journey and that's, that's what I've been explaining to friends as well who are starting a YouTube channel. So to wrap this up, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? What kind of content do you enjoy watching? Feel free to drop your comments, suggestions, or even video requests, questions you want to ask me. Let's keep the conversation going, guys. Everyone is welcome. And let us break free from the confines of single niche and create content that speaks to the heart. That is the real essence of creating. And here's a final question for you. What is your deeper purpose? not just on YouTube, but in life. So that's a question for you. 
let's inspire each other to create with intention and passion and let us embrace our journey together guys let us explore the unknown and leave something behind meaningful for ourselves and others and that's it for this video thank you guys for being here i really look forward to continuing this journey with you i also want to say guys that your personal journey and wisdom behind your creative choices they will flow naturally and your broader philosophy on youtube as both creative space and personal journal that's that's your journey that is your story and that is your purpose that is yours you own it so i just want to thank you again and for all those who have been supporting me since 2012 or there's a big gap since 2018 i really appreciate you for those who are new to my channel welcome 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 all right guys thank you so much for watching Mwah. i love you all i hope this video enlightened those who are confused and i hope i answered some of your questions too about channel niche and i also hope that this video will help you decide whether you're going to have a niche or just a free content creator like me who doesn't want to feel boxed in and yeah just simply posting something there that i think people will love okay guys thank you so much for watching again Bless you all. Thank you for watching. 